Hello again, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here, it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. This week on The Drill, I'm diving into X particles for the first time. So I followed a Skillshare tutorial uh, by uh, Patrick C4D. Um, I will put a link in the description below. And just tried to play with X particles for the first time and really get an idea of how the heck it works. So this, this, uh, the end product today is not the, uh, the most original kind of thing, but is more just trying to figure out how these uh, particle systems start to interact with each other and move with each other. So what I'm using is an X particles emitter, um, and I'm using uh, an X particle skinner to add this, excuse me, mesh to the outside of it. Uh, once that mesh is on the outside of it, that's when I brought it into Octane and started to figure out uh, what I wanted to do as far as uh, texturing and uh, lighting. Uh, it was just, again, it was just kind of uh, seeing, playing around with X particles, seeing how this animates, seeing how this moves. I tried to do this like all white or all red room thing with maybe this like black, um, oily kind of uh, material. The issue I was having with uh, the Skinner was um, was actually how smooth the the mesh became. Uh, when I cranked it up too much, I actually got like points and stuff like that where the Skinner was wrapping around the particles that I didn't actually like. So there was a balancing act there. This is also a good little exercise to play around with uh, my HDRI environment because I did want some natural HDRI studios in there, but um, how I originally set this up, I, I used a just a red color uh, RGB spectrum to to define that, and I actually went back um, and and removed that. You can see some cloners in here right now. I just wanted to add a little a little bit more interest to this uh, to this scene, so I had these. Uh, just spheres cloned out and they were emitting just light just playing around with uh, again just playing with the composition seeing if I could get something a little more interesting ultimately I went back and got rid of these um, I also kind of set up my HDRI environment a little bit differently in the end and um, that is what I ultimately got my look with but here's uh, my first pass of the render um, right here out of uh, C4D and what I didn't, I didn't like the square. I actually went back in and, and uh, changed the emitter type to a uh, circle, so I got a round. Um, it almost looked like a sphere right from the start. Um, so that was uh, there were like little nuances of X particles that it's just going to take a lot of time playing around with, and that's just on my long list of stuff to learn um, with Cinema 4D. So uh, I'm I'm really excited about X particles. I could see so much potential in it I've seen so much amazing work from it um, and I think the real challenge is just trying not to do things that are too derivative um, I'm still trying to with this I'm still keeping a conscious mind of shot composition lighting um, mood and tone and uh, that's that's why ultimately I went back and got rid of these like these white spheres because they weren't, weren't really adding anything to the scene um, due to the smoothing issue I was having with my X particles and experience I tried to make the texture and the material of this more of like a like a claymation kind of look um, because I was getting too much re with too much reflection it just it was looking too rigid and, and bumpy and it was kind of messing up so here's uh, the actual uh, render that came out of here and just a little bit of compositing in uh, After Effects um, a little bit of work here just kind of the standard just noise on it just just kind of roughing it up a little bit and and adding to that almost like claymation feel and uh, here are some LUTs that I had purchased back on Black Friday and had not applied yet. So uh, there's a little preview of that thrown in there. And once we got After Effects open back up, I just uh, applied a, a look I liked. I, I'm using these from the Triune Film Store. And I think I went with um, Look from uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where You Find Them. I believe that's the title of the movie. And uh, rendered out the, the, through the rest of my adjustment layers on this, rendered this out, and in just a moment you'll see how that kind of flickers together it's got that like stop motiony kind of feel not what i was going for initially but i think it's a cool look in in its own and there's the final render 
this is awesome because it's like like i said this is my first jumping off point with x particles there's so much in x particles that's left for me to explore also with this render i have rendered out different camera angles those will be posted to my instagram account so you can kind of get like little snippets uh over there as well but that's all for this week's episode thanks so much for watching once again uh, you know how youtube works like share subscribe and comment down below you can follow me on instagram and twitch at jeremy walker that's j-r-m-y underscore w-l-k-r visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at jeremy at jeremywalker.com thanks again so much for watching and i can't wait to see you all next week on the drill